Uh, so I call myself Roberto Fernandez Dorticos. Oh, great. Okay. And uh, uh, eventually I would just, uh, I, would, I would do like Picasso, just put Dorticos. No. Oh, are you was are you influenced by Picasso? Oh my God, yes. Picasso oh. is like uh, it's, it's, if, if, if he would have been my father, it would have been perfect. Oh, sure. Because I, 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 in a funny way, well, it's him and Miro and Sasan and oh my God, it's just I, I just I, I've been always surrounded by art since mm -hmm. I was knee high. So, I mean, they're all, I feel they're like my big uncles or whatever. Oh, you great. Know. Uh, yeah, I, I, he influenced all of them that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. influenced me a lot. Uh, I started painting, well, my first little paint job, I was about seven in Havana, mm -hmm. Havana, Cuba. And, and it was the coat of arms of Cuba, and I got a big star for that. Oh, great. Which was really funny. And uh, it's okay. Wanna... Tell me about your paintings. Thank you. Well, my paintings don't, don't really have a name. Okay. Because my paintings have a spirit of, 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 of their own. Which I, uh, when I go by one of my paintings, I see something different. Mm -hmm. So to, to really choose a, a, a title, it wouldn't be fair mm -hmm. for, for the person who buys it. Right. And what I do is, uh, once they see it and they say, what's their name? I said, I, I, it doesn't have a name. You, you give it a name if you're going to buy it. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they do buy it and they give it a name and mm -hmm. they sign it with that name in the back. And then I sign my name underneath so that it's okay. That's great. You know, okay. I, all my paintings have, have a spirit of their own. And it just, they come through every so often. I mean, if you... If you look at all my paintings, you see layers and layers of things. They're abstract, but they 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 have they're alive. Mm hmm Okay. I know I sound crazy. What is this? What do, can you? Is there anything that you could tell us about what inspired you for these paintings? Well, uh, actually, it, it's uh, it's life. It's the color mm -hmm. of life. Uh, New York, it's in, it's wonderful. My new series of paintings, uh, which you won't be seeing until next year. We have um, digital photography. We feel that it offers the uh, collector and the visitor a little mini museum that they can come in here and see an eclectic collection that uh, caters to everyone. It's a broad-based gallery and we also feature it as a little home, an intimate home so that everyone can envision how beautifully modern art can be assimilated into uh, one's home or one's office. Therefore, one can purchase contemporary art such as Roberto Fernandez and still have traditional tapestry chairs, you can have your grandmother's piano, you can carry your antique furniture, it creates a dynamic, a zig, a zay. Um, it creates a visual jigsaw puzzle and the dynamics are exciting and very successful. So if you'd like to, we can tour around Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Okay, thank you. Thank